Day three at the Delta Lloyd Regatta has served up another challenging day of racing for the teams, with storms sweeping through to serve up gusts of 25 knots and just a bit of sun. The new format being used here in Medemblik sees all classes race 12 races except the Skiff and RSX events, which race 16 in the opening series. The opening series overall result will be scored as one race, which boats will carry forward to the medal stage where the top six in all classes, except the Skiff, which will be top eight, face off in the deciding round. Three races for the Laser Gold fleet today on the Orange Course area, where the variable conditions saw different winners for each race. During the reach to the outer mark, Heino was second behind Estonia's Ramo, with New Zealand's Maloney just a few metres behind. Heading into the downwind leg, most of the fleet elected to race the left-hand track, with a few, including France's Bernards, going right. As a storm approached the course area, the breeze was sucked away and dropped to eight knots. Advantage to Heiner, who mastered the conditions and surfed his way past the Estonian and rounded the left downwind gate, which would take him back upwind on the course side nearest to the shore. Bernaz's choice to take the right-hand track downwind paid off as he rounded soon behind. The Dutchman Heiner made his second loop of the course look easy as he maintained his lead and delivered an excellent race win. New Zealand's Maloney worked his boat and body hard to catch Bernard's, achieving his goal just ahead of the final downwind rounding. No position changes in the final reach and a 1-2-3 finishing order for the Dutch, Australian and French sailors. In the 34-boat 49er fleet, France's de Tolly and Del Pesh had a solid string of results in the day's three races to position themselves in second overall. But with a lot of catching up to do as they sit on twice the points of series leaders, Denmark's Wara and Lang, who carry just a 14-point scoreline. In the RSX Men Gold Fleet race course area, the weather was incredibly shifty with heavy storms followed by sun. The unstable wind speeds fluctuating from 4 to 24 knots made it impossible to predict the racetrack with really tough conditions for the racers. As they waited for the wind to settle and the race committee to get racing underway after the storm, some racers just stood waiting on their boards, whilst others kept sailing to keep warm. On to the third race of the day and the fleet all started on port. But as they headed upwind, it was soon obvious that this was going to be a two-horse race between Korea's Lee and 2012 Olympic gold medalist Van Rysselberger. The pair surged upwind, leaving the rest of the fleet behind. Lee maintained his lead and kept Van Rysselberger in check behind him to claim his first win of the series. In the 13-boat 2.4-metre fleet, Great Britain's Pasco won race 5 and after race 6 is leading overall. This is said to be a fight between Pasco, Holland's Cole and 2012 Olympic medalist Lucas. Lastly, in the Nacris fleet, the duo of Fisser and Mulder are leading with a 12-point lead, with two French teams following. Three races were completed today with medium wins and some good action. In the second race of the day, Ordinaire and Veru had the best start at the pin end, which gave them an early lead. On the other hand, the Dutch overall leaders did not perform so well and had to compromise with a fifth place. Tomorrow, Friday, is the critical day of racing, which will qualify the boats going through to the medal stage on Saturday at this second event of the Eurosaf Champions Sailing Cup. Follow the action with us.